Dr. Frutman. I'm a medical director of Trifecta Health. Uh, at Trifecta, we do many revolutionary treatments of major depression, including ketamine injections. With ketamine, we have developed our own strategy and our own methodology. We do a series of small injections that seem to be very helpful to most patients uh, who try them. Basically, four methods are available of giving ketamine. IV infusion is something that is tried and true and is the most frequent method of administration of ketamine. I think it's a historical fact that ketamine was originally used not by psychiatrists but by anesthesiologists. And as anesthesiologists, as a rule, used to using IVs um, and use IVs for any medication they administer. Um, there have been recent experiments with intranasal sprays of ketamine. I think they're still in their infancy and the results are not generalizable to the gen public yet. Um, oral ketamine is poorly available, so therefore it's not really recommended. Uh, we feel that a small injections of ketamine, which is 84% bioavailable of an infusion, an IV infusion, are pretty much equivalent and carry the potency of IV infusion, but at the same time not associated with the risks of starting an IV. Every time a doctor starts an IV, he introduces a foreign object into the patient's body, so there is a risk of infection. There's always a bruise and a small mark in the skin. Starting several IVs on a hand would make someone look like they have track marks. A small injection, intramuscular injections, does not leave tracks or any marks because they're tiny and we use small needles. When we use injections, we believe that it's a lot safer because when we use injections, we're in full control of the dose because it's a doctor who draws the injection and knows exactly how much is given. For patients who have some fears, we can give first a small injection, see how they respond, and then give them a bigger injection. We always monitor vital signs. So anyone who has any blood pressure changes, we have an option of either waiting longer for a second injection, giving a smaller injection, or a larger one, depending on the reaction to the first one. So giving injections is safe and allows the doctors most flexibility in administration of doses and also allows for the patient to experience the least discomfort or any pain. Uh, come to Trifecta and talk to us about using ketamine for major depression. Mm -hmm.